everyone, it is Wednesday, March 30th. Let's take a look at my first day in hell. But first, as every adventure that I have includes trains, it is time for footage on a train. Cue music. where hell is located. I'm waiting for my sister to get here. She's gonna be here in about 10 minutes. But this is Beppu Station. On that side of this island right now, there are a lot of mountains. But on this side, at past those buildings, there's a lot of ocean. So, I am here and I'm excited and slightly nervous, actually, because we're going to an onsen. So I'm slightly nervous about that. There's a pigeon. Hello, Pigeon. Hi. What's up, dude? This is a Beppu Pigeon, apparently. Rare breed, you know. I don't know, I'm kind of loopy. I've been on a train for six hours. I've been on three trains in six hours. That's, that's what I mean to say. And now, for the creepiest statue in the history of creepy statues. <laughs> This man, the man called Shiny Uncle, who loved children. That is a naked baby attached to an old man. And there's more naked babies under here, holding up his cape. Not sure what I've gotten myself into. That naked baby on there has horns. In other news, there are. There are chibis asking for money for children. So my sister found me at the creepy statue. We went out for lunch with a really nice chair at the restaurant. It's our first meal in Kyushu. What was it called? Tori? Tori ten. Tori ten pasta. pasta. Tori ten pasta. I think it was only one. Yeah. And then we went walking for a very long time. Walking down that boot. We're going to the beach now because there is a sand dunes in there. It's windy, my apologies. Ready? Here I am in Kyushu. It's not that big, really. I'm not actually here. This is just a green screen behind me right now and a fan going. That's it. Okay, so we're heading to the sand beach still. Well, my sister has just informed me that that is Monkey Mountain and we'll be going there probably tomorrow. You're kind of visible, but you're such a slim bird that it's very difficult to make you on this camera. There is a big Karen over there. FYI. Palm trees. Not something I've seen a lot of actually. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of a rare flight. Okay, so we're still on the route now. But we're looking at all these trees. And personally, I think they all look like they want a high five. So, high touch. Okay, that kind of hurt, but yeah. I think, I don't know. It looks like it has a bunch of arms with high fives. But nobody ever gives them high fives, so they're very lonely creatures. Or I'm just insane, whatever. Take a pick. Looking back, some of those trees may have just been giving me the finger. That's a really big boat. It's cold. Sunflower cobalt. That's actually a ferry that can take me between Kyushu and Osaka, but I didn't take it because I don't like boats. Interesting scenery going on. Here. And I'm not just talking about palm trees this time. We walked a long time before we finally came to our destination. So much walking. We have made it. I don't think I can film anything else from here. But this is a sand spa and onsen. And awesomeness apparently. 
we shall find out. See you later. I was actually kind of scared about this sign because there were crabs on it, and I was thinking, oh my god, are there actually going to be crabs in the sand? I don't know how this is going to work. But then there weren't. Okay, this is our onsen. I just got out of my first onsen experience with sand. Do they call it a sand onsen or just... Sunaburo. Sunaburo. So, the sand bath was quite awesome. Although, like, the first moment they start piling all the sand on you, you're like, <laughs> I almost broke out laughing, but I like, control, control. And then when it's all on you, you can feel your pulse. I felt it especially through my calves. And then uh, they put all the sand, they tuck it in every nook. And when they get out it right on my, my chin, it was really hot sand then, but it wasn't so bad afterwards. It was really relaxing. And then you have to get out of it, and that's kind of a hassle. And then it's quite crazy. And then you get in the actual onsen, which was very relaxing, very hot at one point in time, but very good. And, and now we get to sit out here and look at the ocean. And I'm quite relaxed. I'm so relaxed that I keep dropping things, so I'm gonna go now before I drop my camera. And then we walked for a long time again until we finally came upon this real Indian restaurant. This is my delicious food that I will be eating tonight. This is a very big piece of knot. It doesn't even fit. I can't fit it. Oh, there we go. I can. There we go. I have to hold it very up high. See this? There we go. That's what I can now we know it's real because it said so on the sign outside, but also because the owner was actually from India. Okay, so this is pretty much concluding day one of my trip in hell. Not really hell. I haven't actually gone to hell yet. This is just Beppu. Um, this is our room. My sister's in the onsen downstairs right now. We have bunk beds. I don't remember having bunk beds with my sister ever. I had them with Emily. Not with, not with this one. We never really shared a room. Too much of an age gap. Not really. It's not that much. It's five years. No biggie. Um, but she always got the, her own room. She was the eldest. So, we got bunk beds. But, climbing, I have to climb up this way now. Instead of using these tiny stairs. Because I used the tiny stairs before. Or the tiny little ladder before. And it was really like, cliff climb. In Via Sada. She was like, I'm just not getting anywhere right now. Um, so tomorrow, we have a really big day. I'm hoping my knees hang in there because today, walking really far to the sand spa was not good for my knees. They're okay now. Um, hopefully, they're good tomorrow. But yeah, I just want to show you. We have bunk beds. I'm going to go now and wait for her to come back so I can go to sleep because I can't walk her. Really quick, everybody, you see here, I've been reorganizing my kitchen. I rearranged this on my table over there, my stuff is over here. But I have a small problem, because my predecessor put down this tape where these cords were to plug in the refrigerator and stuff. But now there's this horrible tape residue that's really not going anywhere, and I can't get it off. So, before I try anything else on it, I was wondering if you have any methods of getting this. Now this is really dried on, so it's not like it was just put there. Um, uh, it's been there since I moved in and it was, I'm guessing, there when before my, my predecessor. I don't know if his predecessor put it down there, but it's very annoying and I want to clean it because I've cleaned everything else. So if you have any ways to do that, please let me know. Also if you have any other questions, shoot them down there. I don't know when I'll be answering questions, but I will have a whole video of just question answering coming up soon. So submit any questions that you have for me and please answer mine. Okay, bye.